everyone. I thought I would try vlogging. I don't know if this is going to work or what it's going to be like. It might end up just being a day in the life or it might not even see airtime. We're back from Maui. We've been settling into the routine, working. Um, just Maui was amazing and loved it so much. I loved making the vlog and sharing it with you. By the way, some of you asked why I label it bikinis and include bikinis. There's a couple of reasons. I put the label on there because some of you don't like seeing it and I totally respect that so that way you know to skip it. And the reason that I include it is one, I get asked a fair bit, but two, if anybody wants the inspiration and the motivation, you know, it's uncomfortable to show yourself, but hey, I'm in bikinis a lot in Maui, so that's why you see that. So today is Sunday, and I am hoping to get some videos edited. I'm trying to clean out my closet. As most of you know, I get my clothes sent to me from a girlfriend, and she's constantly sending things. I get them at cost, and they're amazing deals, but you know what? A deal isn't a deal if you don't need it. And I am telling her to stop her shipments, cleaning out my closet and hoping to pare it down to just the items that I love. So I might share some of that with you. Mark's out running errands and I am going to get my coffee. I'm gonna show you, sorry, I am not the best at this. Here's my coffee. I love this coconut beverage from Trader Joe's and the stevia, and I always have my coffee iced. So I've put the camera down while I am putting together my coffee here. Um, this week is going to be busy with work. I'm so blessed to be able to work at home. Maui was fabulous, but you know, as much as I enjoyed my time off, it's good to be back at work. I work with amazing people. I've missed wearing all my dress up clothes and it's just, it keeps me challenged, it keeps me going a million miles an hour and I get a whole lot more done and it just feels really good. So many people, the minute that I walked in through the doors, I was getting hugs and we missed you and it just, everybody I work with is so amazing. So it feels really good to go back to that kind of environment. It's challenging. I feel like I'm on a treadmill and not keeping up, but I'm getting there and like I said it's just it's really good so I've got work this week I've got a book club and we leave Friday after work for travels so it'll be busy but good and then Wednesday's date night we always do that so I have Monday Tuesday to myself and then Thursday's book club don't know how much I'll vlog during the week but let's go clean out the closet so I thought I'd show you my outfit Maybe you can see in here it's got some lattice work in the waistband. It's just a simple black maxi dress. Mark wears shoes in the house. I don't. I love my shoes when I go out, but I just like being barefoot around the house. So just something comfy, simple. We're still probably, I don't know, 100. So just trying to have flowy, cool clothes. <laughs> I wanted to say before I take you in the closet here that I'm constantly cleaning and turning things over. Yes, I could be more ruthless and I probably should be with how much I have, but I'm not one in makeup, clothes, anything. I'm getting th rid of things just for the sake of it. I like to keep things organized, but I also like to enjoy what I have. And if I'm wanting to keep something, I do. I go through it on a regular basis as my girlfriend sends me things, as my closet starts overflowing. The other thing is, I don't have all day. I have at least 13 different sections. If I spend 10 minutes on each one, that's more time than I want to take in here. So I'm going through on a first pass, doing what I can, and continue doing it on an ongoing basis. So let's go in. This is the mess so far. So, I have actually done this section and this section. I'm in the middle of doing this section. And there's uh, winter pants at the back here. And so I want to try some of those on, the, these slacks, and see if I still want them or not. This section I try to keep fairly clean with hangers. Those are nighties <laughs> hanging up there. These are a lot of things that I'm going to wear this week. And on this side 
is a whole bunch of things that I want to try on. I don't know if you can see them all here. So I'm just not sure about them and I need to try all those on. Other than that, I basically throw everything into... The, I keep it or I throw it into the pile to give away or I hang it up like there to try it on. So I need to go through this section and this section. I don't think I'm going to get into the purses, the shoes, this section, or these shoes, but I'll see what I can do. And hopefully I'm not making you too dizzy. But if I can get through th trying on those pants, trying on those clothes, and those two, I would be super happy. I also need to do these sections. These sections. See, I could spend all day in here, I tell you. If you're wondering what this chaos is, I always have a suitcase on a luggage stand there. And this is probably what I'm going to be taking and I just get it out on hangers method to my madness and say okay I'm going to wear that this week and throw it on there and before the day is over I will have it all organized and packed better but this is my chaos oh I need to get rid of those balloons those are a few months old by the way I keep them in here because otherwise they would set off the motion detector and set off the alarm so unfortunately I get beautiful balloons and I have to put them in here. But still, it's a surprise every time I come in the closet. I enjoy them. So this is what I'm going to be working on. I should have also mentioned, I think, you know, my method to my madness is I have things color coordinated by sections. So I have, you know, all of the oranges, all of the pinks, all the blues. The last thing is always white. And you can see, maybe you can't, over here, the last thing is white. I do that in every section. And then as I wear something, it goes to the back of the section. This makes it easier for me in the fall or the spring, whenever I'm reorganizing the closet, to look at what hasn't been worn. And those are the things I'm extremely critical of. Everything that's behind the whites, I've worn. So that just makes it easier for me to keep track of. I then put it all back in the colored sections and start the next season. Some stuff I swap out. Yes, I have other closets of clothes, if you can believe it. Now you know why I'm telling my girlfriend to stop shipping. She says I've still got a few more that are coming. Um, she's in Vietnam. She's, she travels all over. But she's my old roommate from when I was in France. But um, she still has a place in France, but isn't living there at the moment. She's in Vietnam right now, and she ships some stuff. So I don't know how long until I'll get those. But I told her, after that, put the brakes on. I also wanted to share, when I have something that I'm not going to wear any longer, like these two, I've just decided that I'm not going to wear these and keep them in my work section. I can wear these either at home or for running errands. I like both of these, I just don't wear them any longer for work. So think about that when you're getting rid of things. Can you wear it as a house dress or repurpose things somehow? So I thought I'd show you. These are all the clothes that I have to try on. Actually, I've tried these one and I'm going to keep them all, but I still have to try on all of these. It's almost like a gym workout. I mean, getting in and out of the clothes by the end of it, it's like, I've had a workout. So I guess that'll be the good news, but hopefully I'll find a few in here that I will be willing to so I don't know how much difference you can see. I have been in here for hours. I wasn't planning on spending that much time. That being said, I'm pretty happy with how much I'm getting rid of and I'll show you that next. So these are the clothes that I am giving away. I still have more to clean out in my closet but not enough time or energy today. So I think I did pretty good and I'm really happy with how my finished closet looks at least for now. Hey everyone! I'm trying to think of what I've done since we last talked. So I finished the closet, I edited a video, answered comments. I always love chatting with you guys. Um, let's see, what else? I worked for a little bit and now I am outside having a happy hour. Oh, there's Mark. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Sorry about that. He's at Home Depot and just called me. He'll be home in a minute. So anyhow, I'm outside having happy hour. It's probably mid-90s, 
So it's a little tiny bit warm. You have to understand we don't have humidity. And that makes a huge difference. In California, 80 degrees is really warm there. I prefer like mid 70s. Here, 90 is perfect. Uh, so mid 90s right now, it's a little warm. Hopefully it'll cool off and we can have dinner outside later because we won't eat till about eight o'clock. So it should be cooling off. I'm hoping some hummers, you can hear them all chattering. Let me see if I can find any for you here. I'll still let you see the yard. Maybe some hummers will come. Sorry, I'm not very good with this camera. Oh, if you're wondering, my wine is Cameron Hughes 278. Ah, there's some hummers. I love those little guys. They're just so cute. It's hard to capture them because they're so fast and unless they sit down at the feeder, you don't really get a sense for how many there are flying around everywhere. And as everywhere else gets colder, we get more and more. And I see that feeder needs me to refill it. I always try to leave them all refilled. We have probably 15 of them around the yard. I try to make sure they're always full before I leave. I, I don't like them to go empty. I feel like if I've taken on feeding them during their migration, I need to make sure they have somewhere to stop. <laughs> we are thinking, and when I say we, I mean me, <laughs> sorry for the movement, of replacing this table and chairs here. We don't ever use it. Instead, we use this Sorry, let me back out that table and chairs. So this table and chairs that's over here, we're thinking of replacing with what I lovingly call a circus tent. So it's just like a big tent. It, you can close in the sides, leave them open, or you can have the screens closed. So like if in the summertime there's mosquitoes, you could close just the screens. In the wintertime, if it's cold, you could close the drapes around it as well to have some protection. And that way it would, also in the summer, even if you have it all open, protect you from um, the sun. So I don't know if we would have um, like a somewhere to lay down or sit or what kind of setup I want in underneath there. So first things first, I would have to sell that furniture and it's really good quality, heavy. It's the same as these, um, what are they called? Cast iron, wrought iron, cast wrought iron, I think. They're really heavy duty pieces, so they last forever. So there's four tables and a chair. So gotta list those on Craigslist at some point in life. I don't know if you can see all of the hummers that are flying in the palm trees behind the pool there. We're just very blessed with the beautiful life here. So until Mark gets home, I am going to enjoy my wine and read my Kindle. So I'm making myself tacos for dinner with cauliflower rice. I just fried it up with some taco seasoning and onions. Here's my tacos. Yum. Hey everyone, we're sitting outside having dinner. This is going to be the end of the vlog for tonight. Look at all those fireflies in the tree. You are so funny, honey.